as I've stated before, there is no future here. Absolutely no future, but it's interesting to note how many, the vast majority that truly believe that there is, even those that come to this channel that find themselves here, they make these declarations and it's just obvious that they believe there's all kinds of future left. It's going to be the year 2030, 2050, 2100, so on and so forth. Just so much future. But of course, one isn't paying attention whatsoever. Not in the slightest to what's being done to the earth, which is the heart. No different than in the system of the body with the physical heart. How much pressure can the heart of the physical death meat suit actually take before it ultimately collapses? That's the question. How much future is left when the pressures are continually stacked upon it? Can that be done indefinitely? And of course, you have these people that talk about abundance. There's just no limit to how much pressure can be put on the earth. No limit to the amount of siphoning. I've given the example about the oil and gas industry. How long does one think the siphoning of that can happen? And then, oh, don't worry, we'll run out of gas and then move on to the next resource. Yeah, that sounds really healthy. That sounds like the correct vision. Just absolutely annihilate the earth, extracting that resource and all of the destruction that's been wrought upon the earth through its use. And then once it's all used up, just move on to the next one. Just move on to lithium and the whole battery paradigm that goes along with it. Just everything electric and so on. Just let's see how much more can be destroyed, how much more pressure can be put on the earth. And just call it an illusion. Just call everything just a vibrational frequency of nothing that's meaningless. Just like slaughterhouses obviously are meaningless and there's no pain that's rendered on anything or anyone. Just these absolute absurd, ridiculous, blind statements. Obviously one is wanting to remain ignorant or they're an artificial, a heartless one. Absolutely, that's what artificials are. They're not the real deal. Not at all. They're sentient in a way. They're aware in a way, but they're artificial. Yeah, you can go up and talk to them, have a conversation, have a relationship with them. That's another thing that I've noticed some of you coming on here and noticing that people are just randomly, all of the sudden, just popping back into your life again. Wanting relationships, wanting to be involved in your life. And these people weren't there for how many years or interested in your search for truth all these years. But now, just all of a sudden, all of these people coming out of the woodworks, trying to lock you back into the cycle of desire, chasing the dog tail. I've noticed comments about that and it's something that needs pointing out. One needs to be aware of this happening. And of course, the whole point is to keep you locked into the system at this time. If one starts a relationship and then the attachments that go along with it, the chances of one staying in this system are higher. That's its play. That's the point. So there's all kinds that believe there's nothing but future and that the pressures that are put on the, the earth itself, the heart, is irrelevant. Just absolutely irrelevant. And if one thinks about weights that are just stacked on top of them, how many rocks in a backpack could be fit in, constantly putting more and more rocks in that backpack that is around your shoulders before you can no longer stand? And one thinks that the earth is any different. Just the weight of debt, the weight of the dead, stacking up, non-stop. 
does one not conceptualize that the spirit is holding up that debt, propping it up. And as I've said before, it's not going to continue to be doing that for very much longer at all. And it's up to every individual whether they want to believe that there's all kinds of future or not. Go ahead. Go ahead and believe there's nothing but future. That's, again, your prerogative. In my view, in my vision, and the interpretation, obviously, even of the symbols. Well, no, there's no such thing as all kinds of future left. I'll point out again, the emergency call was made on 9-11 in 2001. Who paid attention truly to the meaning of that symbol? Yeah, the bin is full. Bin is laden. Bin laden. Laden. Hmm, who's filling the bin? As related to the musical analogy that I've given several times, you can only fill a measure with so many notes. And then it just becomes noise and chaos. And it's just the wrong time signature even. Even when things are done to a grid that the way this system does. It can no longer contain the notes, the music, the instruments, the individuals, etc. There's just only so much room. That's a fact. But of course, those people that believe in the new age just talk about infinite, infinite, infinite abundance. But never look at the pressures that are placed on eternity as if that's not a thing. Just analogize for yourself. Do the proper analogy. Can you keep stacking the weights upon yourself indefinitely? And one conceptualizes that because they're looking at the earth, that it can be done to the earth. The little is the big. It's a proper reflection. So you can't do that to yourself, and yet you think these big things, like the earth, it can be done indefinitely. You can just keep stacking up the debt, stacking up the dead, the wrong vision, the wrong idea, indefinitely. One needs to shake themselves from their slumber. Actually shake yourself. Check yourself, as it's been said. You're not paying attention. And so many new artificials coming around all the time, just blathering about nothing. Absolutely, I've said it many times, pot stirs. It's very true. Always trying to deflect always trying to divert one's attention, the true hearts that are out there, into wrong directions again. That's the point. That's their whole play. They're going to be relentless. And in the time to come, even more so. It's going to be a flood, an actual flood of artificials. It already is really, but it's going to be remarkably noticeable. It's going to be undeniable to those who are real and actually paying attention with their eyes open. Because one has finally shaken themselves awake. Finally. And the other thing, too, is that what was went through with the whole quarantine, that was the exercise phase. That wasn't real world, that was exercise. What's to come is going to be real world. It's going to get very, very real. And one is going to have to find their courage. Big time. 
one's courage is being hidden, disguised by an overlay of the ego that is just so dismissive. The ego just conceptualizes that it's going to know how to face the immensities that are to come, that it's going to be able to do so with ease. What happened with the quarantine, what was gone through, that was the exercise, the preview of coming attractions as it's been put in a different way. A preview. And an exercise is not real. It's just a training session. It's no different if one wants to, again, make a comparison when the military does their training exercises versus going into an actual war. It's very much like that. Very much. Does one feel, again, going back to the toilet paper symbol, that that was just by coincidence? That of all the items, it was toilet paper that disappeared from the shelves that was no longer in production for a while. That one product of all products... Does one really conceptualize that was just a coincidence? No coincidences. All of these things are tells. Every last one of them. It's all in the details. If one's paying attention. Has shaken themselves awake. And doesn't want to delude themselves that there's a future to get busy saving for. It's just unreal. Absolutely a farce to conceptualize that one isn't paying attention to how much destruction is being wrought upon the earth every single moment. It's 24-7. 24-7. But yeah, go ahead and just talk about we need to have way, way, way more individuals that are all living like kings and queens. And the earth will just be able to take it. Or we'll just move on and find the next one. The next earth. And that's the whole flat earth movement. Oh, they're hiding more land. So what? So we can take the resources over there. Maybe get the first nations that exist on that next landmass. Maybe just commit genocide over a 500 year period again against them. So we can set up McDonald's and frickin' Walmart on on the next continent too. Yeah, that's just going to be awesome. Absolutely. And just keep developing more death technology, which just rapes and pillages the earth even faster and more efficiently. Because it doesn't mean anything. Everything's just a frequency. Yeah, slaughterhouse is just a frequency. All those animals going through that pain, it just must be for our enjoyment. To enjoy the taste of that murder meat on your tongue. Yum, yum. I enjoy it. So delicious. And it means nothing. It's just part of my little journey. Thank you, New Age propaganda bullshit. Thank you for delivering these philosophical, nonsensical theories to me. So I don't have to actually face the consequences within myself or change my own internal vision or work on anything. It's all just bowing down to serve me and my little experience. That's all it's for. Thank you, eternity, for bowing down to me. And of course, the other turn of that is, oh, so you want everyone to feel guilty. No, it has nothing to do with that whatsoever. But when one is faced with the truth and does nothing about it, then one truly is ignoring everything. And then you can go on your ignore rants through your ignorance. It's being pointed out. Here's the tell. You're being told 
are you paying attention and at the very least at the very least have a willingness to want to change at the least or is just ignoring it altogether more ideal it's just more beneficial for one's selfishness unwilling to give up a damn thing not one thing of selfishness all of eternity is just bowing down to your particular vision all of eternity is just thanking you so much all the incorrect visions all these people who are filled with hatred and racism judgments dog-like desires usury all of this shit everything that's wrong and it gets pointed out and one just turns the blind eye because one would rather be a traitor to the heart yeah go on the stock market and be a traitor again another phonetic tell yeah just keep talking about the pursuit of mon eye that's what it's all about and keep saving for that future that's just endless absolutely an endless future with non-stop pain inflicted upon the earth that's meaningless to the heartless ones and if one doesn't like the message leave and then you're going to deal with the real world consequences that are to soon come because we just went through the exercise that was just a little exercise <laughs>